What's up YouTube? In today's video we're going over the designer's notes. So one thing I do want to say is my webcam is not working. Unfortunate. It'll probably be up and running by next week. So with out of the way, let's get straight into it. First of all, mid-season patch, which I think means that mousetrap should be coming, unless this isn't a patch. But the next patch, mousetrap will be coming. So if you're seeing this later, mousetrap is probably already in effect. With that being said, let's look at the wind deltas. This is PC, emerald, and above. So if you are below emerald uh, or you're on console, this is not apply. But I mean, nothing really much has changed. I mean, the higher they are on the graph, the more wind percentage they have the more towards the right of the graph, the higher they are picked. So Amaru, highest win percentage in the entire game. Kind of weird. And then you have people like Finca, Dokabi, Nook. Don't really surprise anybody here. Uh, Ace, Ash, Yana being super high shouldn't really surprise anybody. It's just anyone who has a 1.5 uh, and or frag grenades slash good utility, right? Dokabi and Yana for an example. Uh, Sens being super low doesn't surprise anybody. All these operators kind of suck right now for the meta except for Ying. But Ying doesn't get played much so her win percentage is just going to be low. Right, and then we have these operators being in the middle and Jackal being actually pretty low on the wind delta. If you look at pretty much anybody's tier list this season, Jackal is really, really low for good reason, right? He's just not as good as he used to be. And then we look at the console emerald and above list, and it, I mean, it's more or less the same thing. Amaru is less high because she takes mechanical skill to get any value out of, and then everything else is literally in the exact same spot, right? I didn't look at where Bravo was. Okay, so she's kind of in the middle for both graphs. She's not too good, not too bad, pretty balanced, where an operator should be. Defense is really not too different either. Tachanka being super, super low shouldn't surprise anybody. Anybody, he's really really bad and then rook and cap can and frost being this high shouldn't surprise anybody either this is also you know pc and then we look at console same thing right rook frost cap can dominating and then we look at pick rate oryx being very very high for both and jaeger for that matter right so kind of a 1.5 times scope meta which is going to change as you're about to see so let's go down to the ban rate for pc emerald and above is thatcher jackal dokubi right i'm glad that dokubi is getting banned more she's probably one of the most meta operators right now uh, and then defense kind of the same thing right Thatcher Jackal. No one on console banning Dokubi. That's a bit weird though. Dokubi is very powerful. I don't think people like her because of her DMR on console though, so that's kind of understandable. Looking at defense though, for PC, we have Miracade, Capcan, and Valk. Capcan surging up because of how good he has been. And then Cade, Valkyrie, and Mira staying kind of where they were. Looking at console, Capcan still being number one, Cade being number two, and then Mira being number three. Oryx actually getting banned a lot too, which I kind of do like, right? It is his meta, so I can understand why. And then we get into the operator balance. Now, this is kind of controversial, but I'll go over one by one. So Capital, they're buffing him. They increased his smoke dart duration 11 seconds from nine. And this is really good. The only thing that I didn't like about Capital is that his smokes didn't last a long time compared to a normal smoke grenade. So if you were going to bring him for his smoke grenades, you can just bring somebody else with more utility that also brings smoke grenades like gridlock or like brava right so he never really had a place now he has kind of a place right and it has the same visuals and utility so it, it's just natural that they increase the duration and make it the same as any other smoke grenade except capital you can make one way smokes with because his smokes stick wherever you shoot them right so that's pretty cool cap can they took away his 1.5 i think that was pretty necessary i don't think they should have reworked his gadget in any way because the gadget isn't what making him so strong the fact that he has a 1.5 and a nitro cell and a strong gadget is what makes him strong for solo queue so they needed to take one of those things away and i'm glad it was a 1.5 but because they did that, they gave Wamai his 1.5 back on his MP5, which I think is awesome, especially because like they said, they increased the recoil of the AUG, right? He, he just kind of needed some more love, and it's not Wamai's meta at all right now, especially for solo queue, because not a lot of people have grenades. So giving him a slight buff like this is actually very, very good. And they're giving 1.5 times scopes to operators that bring utility because they're trying to take us out of this gun skill heavy meta, and they're trying to get us back into a utility meta, which is super, super smart on their end. Uh, and this is only further reinforced when we take a look at Tachanka because they gave him the 1.5 and the 2x on his SMG. So that's pretty cool. And then, you know, other than that, they also made it to where he has 20 fire projectiles instead of 14 and then his magazine size is reduced to five from seven so you have to reload it more often which to be honest is still kind of fun the the only thing is tachanka is still just by utility definition worse than goyo and smoke and we can take a look at that down here right uh, area denied is the most with goyo with smoke coming in close second and tachanka coming in last and then the actual effect just damage right uh, the operating system is a launcher, which is much, much harder to use than a throw or deploy. The range you have to use with it is very long, which makes it very hard to use unless you have lineups. And then gadget equipped and weapon equipped 
are just so much easier than having it on a launcher, right? Like they were saying up here with a launch. And then the, the amount of seconds that they have is absolutely outstanding. He only had a few more seconds with his fire in total than Goyo had, right? Which was only like 18 more seconds. And that is not at all enough seconds to be valuable if you're comparing it to Goyo. Because Tachanka oftentimes doesn't get all of his fire down, but Goyo oftentimes does get most of his fire down, right? So now that they're adding more and they're giving him almost double what Goyo has, I think it's extremely powerful. So if we're looking at an operator that we want to use for a period of a long time in a round, Tachanka is now our best bet instead of Smoke, which is kind of cool, but here's the thing. You're not going to get that opportunity in the meta we're in right now. It's a very fast-paced meta. Things are happening constantly. They're happening early round. People are getting gunfights a lot. So you need somebody that has not a lot of area denial, but a good short burst of it, and Smoke brings that in every way possible, right? So Smoke is always going to be better than Tachanka. Now, if it was a meta that had very long-lasting rounds, like a plant meta or whatnot, Tachanka would be better, right? But it's not, so no matter what they do to buff him, it's just gonna be outshined by Smoke and Goyo, right? So at least he's not too terrible now. He's still just uncomfortable though. And then the extended barrel, they reduced it. So they actually nerfed it a bit. That's interesting. So they're, they're reducing the bonus damage for the extended barrel by 3%, which doesn't mean fucking anything, really. Uh, all it's doing is making it to where, like, you can either run suppressor or extended barrel on a gun instead of definitely running extended barrel. But still, 12% is a lot, right? So <laughs> I don't think, I don't think that is going to do anything. But what does all of this actually mean? So far we've had changes of getting utility to operators and taking away gun skill to other operators. So the devs are definitely saying, hey, there's a meta where people are shooting each other, so let's try to buff people that bring utility, like Wamai and like Tachanka, right? And they're comparing Tachanka to these other two area denial operators because they know he's terrible, which is further reinforced by just base stats, right? Look at the win percentage. Look at that negative five and then look at it here for pc like a uh, negative four it's almost as bad as clash and then the pick rate look it's it's not even in like the five percentile it's like maybe one percent of games same thing here it's even lower right so like he's not getting played a lot and when he does get played a lot he's not winning they need to buff him in some way i think honestly he was doing better before they reworked him like like genuinely he was doing so much better before they reworked him so it's bad they needed to buff him sends i like the fact that he's a three speed but his gadget is finicky if they made it a non-electronic gadget and they made it to where it's just a line of smoke that couldn't get mute jammered or or even better idea they just made his hitbox on his gadget smaller so it's easier to use it'd be so much better the issue with sends is his gadget is extremely hard and unconventional to use you throw a sense gadget into a room and it never does what you want it to do because the hitbox of it is so big. There's certain doorways or drone holes or like areas that you want to throw it in that it just won't go the way you want it to because the hitbox is so finicky. So they should add an arrow that shows where it's going to go on the floor or they should make the hitbox smaller or they should make it a non-electronic gadget so it can't be countered by mute or explosions or like electrified surfaces, right? Like I just think it should be a wall of smoke. That's all it should be and it'd be so much more powerful. And then twitch lower rate, right? Twitch lower rate because of the loss of the vertical grip on her. Really, really good gun. But I mean, other than that, like pretty much still the same meta that we're in. Uh, nothing too much has changed here. Just wanted to give y'all a bit of an update, especially because I can't do as much content as I want to do without my webcam. But I'm still gonna be uploading every single day of this week until Friday. So I will see y'all in the next video. Later.